I'm Justin Darby. I've known Rob Mason for quite a while now. Me and him were working on the naval base out at Garden Island together for a while and we're doing caches as well after work. We were driving down Tonkin Highway about 7.30 at night going to a cash job to finish it off and then Rob spotted three UFOs out to the right. Mace, I was like, Darby, we need to film this, we need to film this. And I was like, all right, all right, I'll film it, I'll film it. And then I pulled over, like, whoa, get fucked. Mace started to drive, I'm sitting there filming, trying to film over the top of him on a bloody iPhone, was it iPhone 4? or five or something like that and it was just like oh my so this is out of this world man fuck work we need to follow these things and my so was all on board with that he started following i was like go to my brother's house which is towards elton golf course didn't end up going to see him so we got there which is about 15 kilometers away from the airport as rob's pulled into the um, driveway for elton golf course he was a bit excited didn't see an island in front of him, hit it, ran over it, bit of a car crash. Then we've got out the car, Rob's ran off. I've just seen this orange light just shoots directly straight up in the sky. And Rob's come back all energised. In your own words, briefly just explain or well, pre-tell what happened as far as the um the two photos you took i uh, the way i remember it is we drove around it wasn't really happening and we were on our way home and i thought well let's for some reason i just thought let's go up turn left up here up into the hills which was where the quarry was and we ended up going as you know up to the quarry which is an area where people can't even get to now but so the whole thing was strange in the first place mm. But um, you wanted to get out and run up this big pile of rocks. <laughs> and I was just going to, but you know, Skimbo and I were just sitting in the car up there. And as you know, but many may not, I took a photo and I couldn't see you in it. So I took another one straight away because I, it flashed up onto my camera quickly and then went to my um, memory card thing. So I didn't get to see it, but I couldn't see you when the flash went off. So I thought I'll just take another one for, for safe measure. When I actually looked at it to see what the camera looked like, you weren't in the first one at all. And literally a second later, uh, you're there. And I mean, those photos are absolutely crazy because Everything else was clear. The mound was clear. The the fence, every yeah. thing in that picture was clear, except you weren't there. Just so if people listening aren't aware, Donna's talking about yeah. the time two nights after I had a major UFO experience. So on the on the twentieth, I had a big experience with Darby, and two days later on the twenty second, me, Donna, and Kimbo went out and. Now Donna's describing what took place and she took the photos of me being abducted. So, so if you'd like to continue, Donna? Except for you, you weren't there at all. It's clearly not and in the photo. The, yeah, clearly not in the photo. Just your body. Everything else, the, the mound you could see, everything. Yep. But then the very second later, literally one second later, I took a photo where, of you and you were in it, but you were just down the mound a bit. So you couldn't have even... I on the other side of the mound. That's what spun even, me out, you know. Yeah, like a, I couldn't you, even you move could, that quick. You couldn't have even moved that quick. You should have been in yeah. that first photo. Yeah. You were wrong. Yeah, and, and you and, weren't. And there also there was a UFO behind me in the second but photo. Then all the, yeah, that was another thing that we were um, um, getting into at that same time was orbs as well. And so there was all these orbs in the background of the of that mound i mean it really is and the you and the an ufo amazing. object behind my right my right shoulder if i can remember correctly. yes yeah. yeah yes most this is the first known series of photographs that i know and i've been researching ufo ufology for um oh, a good number of years now uh that we have where we have the person 
zooming off and then zooming back, like being abducted and coming back. It's in transition. First known photographs that I know ever, okay? So that's pretty significant. Just that alone for history on Earth. My abduction photos or the video I have from the two nights before or whether it's the crop circle evidence. Um, I always have witnesses, um, mul uh, often multiple witnesses and if not witnesses, I'll have witnesses and video evidence or photo evidence. And so, and, and that's why I wanted to have this conversation with you because you're one of my witnesses with the crop circle event when I was, and I said, to, I drew it on my hand and I took a picture and I sent it to you and I said, let's see if they make this into a crop circle. And then, as you said, a week or two later, they did. And then and that was the second time. And then the third time was when I drew the same similar symbol on my hand, opened up, and then they replied with that crop, the, the similar crop circle with the, um, with obviously their language in Britain. I can't decipher it, but do you agree that you're a witness to my crop circle? Evidence? Yes, I am. That's what I'm saying, Robert. I'm yeah. a big time witness to the point where people probably want to lock me up. I'm careful uh, uh, talking about it uh, uh, without, you know, your, with your, without you being present because it's such a big deal. And I remember recently uh, you were busy trying to figure them out because there was a message you knew yeah. that you could figure out. And I said, this guy's sitting up there spending hours knowing, which I know is true now, that there's a message there for all of us that they need you to translate. 